unfinished business at Fifth <laughs> Avenue, and I think it's finished. Now. Yeah. Well, you know, I hope that doesn't mean I, I can't come back, but. <laughs> Um, I don't think I got the record today, but uh, you know, maybe maybe some other day. But I was it was pretty close, so we were fine. So no slipping at the start. That was a win. Yeah, I mean, listen, it's paying homage to how how hard the uh, the Brooks Footwear Department work, and you know, I think we had the best shoe out there, and me and Henry were just sticking to the road all the way through, and uh, you know, was able to create a reasonably fast time and, uh, and a win. So between Worlds and, and now, I guess you raced the Diamond League, but what else has been going on in practice to get ready for this? You know, it's been a it's been a lot every day. Like this is obviously very new to me, being able to win a major, so. It's been a lot of media every day, and that's been very mentally draining and tiring. But you know, I committed to this race, and I really wanted to do it. Um, and you know, I'm just mentally very tired. And it's a very different, it's a very different effort to run, you know, a mile down the street in flats versus you know running around in, in the oval when spikes on. So yeah, I got to give respect to how the body's feeling, and I was able to come out and perform today. Were you surprised at how seemingly easy it was for you to win this? Um, I don't know. Yeah, sure, but those guys are really good, but it's the end of the season, so everyone's tired. Um, but I was just really excited to go out and run hard. Um, you know, my body was able to be capable of it, but I'm pretty wrecked right now. I was pretty wrecked after Zurich. You know, um, I was pushing there from the front. It was a hard race, and I think it's time to listen to the body and give it a little bit of a rest. So no Damily final? No Damily final for me. It was a shame. I was really excited about it and had my eyes set on it before Worlds, and, you know, I didn't race anything after Tokyo, and... It was a plan to be able to race after World Champs this year, regardless of the result, and I was able to do it. But you know, I, I think you know, if I was to listen to someone like Jake Wyman, the World Champion last year, you know, I know that three championships for him was was a lot, and uh, I've got to learn from my mistakes and also just pay attention to how the body feels after hard efforts. How do you keep the motivation up for a Zurich for a fifth half mile, knowing you're already World Champion? You know, I, I had lots of things to prove for those two races. One was I wanted to go and run the British record in the first race in Zurich, and I wasn't able to do that. And here, you know, I didn't have the performance I wanted to last year, and I needed to kind of make that right. I'm fit, um, but I need to, yeah, I need to pay attention now to make sure that we're ready for Paris. Noah Lyle said he wanted to do a Diamond League, and he changed his mind. Any, any chance? I'm sure appearance fee had something to do with that. Um, no, listen, uh, nothing would have changed this right now just because We've ended where we want to end. I've ended on a high. I didn't do what I wanted to do in Zurich. And so it's nice to end on a high and it's difficult to do at any point in anyone's career at the end of a year. So I've been training and racing for a long time this year and uh, I was glad to put on a performance like that today. But I can't imagine performances like that are going to continue if I keep pushing. Thank you guys. Season as a whole, I mean, you nailed it, right? What are you doing? I mean, it's pretty good? Yeah. Yeah, listen, you know, my, I'm, I'm a championship runner. Uh, obviously, the world final was circled for a long time, for many years. And uh, we know those days off by heart, regardless of what year it is, and that's my big one. And anything after that is kind of a, a, a prize, but also we don't really mind how they go. Um, it's just how we do in the major. And, you know, I was able to make the final of the last four attempts, and so I'm looking to continue to do that and, and learn from my mistakes. Being Josh Kerr world champion, like, people recognize you more on the street, when you're in the airport, is it different? Or? Yeah, it's pretty different. Um, especially, you know, coming to races, if I'm not getting recognized here, then... Um, yeah, I'm probably doing something wrong, but uh, yeah, it's been it's been very different. It's been pulled in lots of directions, but I said this after the World Champs, and I'll say it now. My job now is to connect the the barrier between where I am as a professional and where I was as a club runner, and to make sure that we continue the success from Edinburgh Athletics Club, from Edinburgh, from Scotland, from the UK. So that's what I've been focusing on. I've been doing lots of public appearances and speeches and and talks, and you know that that's important to me as well as racing. I think people are wondering if you're going to defend your San Diego Holiday half title this December. Well, listen, I haven't signed up for it quite yet. I don't know what the uh, entry fee is. Hopefully, we can get that waived this year. Um, but no, I, I love that race, and I, I want to run something longer again in the fall. Uh, hopefully, that's holiday half. If it's you know maybe the Hawaii 10K or Hawaii half, then maybe we do that. But you know, we'll see what comes our way. And there's been some good banter between you and Jakob. You got the 2K world record. What do you think about that? I don't really see the banter, to be honest. Uh, you know, I uh, we don't really talk, and so it's just kind of media asking us questions individually. Um, but you know, when we're behind the scenes getting our medals, we're able to have a good conversation, and we don't really talk too much about running. But you know, that's uh, that's our relationship. We're going to battle. We're going to battle hard next year in Paris. We're going to have some new additions again next year, back with Whiteman hopefully. Um, and so it's going to be continually very fun to watch. But he's racing very well. Uh, I beat him on the right day this year. He's very, it's very difficult to beat. I beat him on the right day, and uh, you know he's gonna have to deal with that for the rest of this year. And I'm sure he's gonna come back fighting pretty hard next year too. What do you guys talk about? Uh, just asking what the heck, like how the heck you can come back and run a 5k. You know, 
all this stuff, you know, just just general chit chat, you know, where he's where he's training, where he's based. So, you know, him and Nordas uh, don't really talk. So it was either him talking to nobody or talking to me. So it was kind of the yeah. Yeah, it was uh, choosing between the two evils there uh, behind the scenes for the metal stuff, so it was uh, a bit of fun. Sounds like your best friends. Oh yeah, best friends.